So, you know, the world is getting warmer, and, and it's, there's evidence that it's, uh, humans are contributing to it. Um, so, the problem with global warming, it's like the worst problem that humans can uh, be interacting with, right? Because if one, one country can do all this work, right, and put all this money into doing it, but another country can just totally pollute the world, right? But the thing is, is that they, they would still get the benefits from some other country like the United States or Canada or other developed countries. Uh, and so they may not need to put as much effort. Uh, but since they're self-interested, they don't really, they, well, if somebody else is gonna do it, then why should I? You see what I mean? Um, which, which is, uh, and, it's, and it's such a, it's a long-term issue. Uh, you know, policymakers only last, you know, like four to something years um, in office, and they only think of the short term, and global warming would be a long term issue. Um, you know, stuff like that. And so, if it comes, when it comes to global warming, you know, self interest is probably not a good thing in that, in that instance, because of, uh, you know, We'd rather think in short term. We we would rather have some other country bear the burden of of uh, clearing up their emissions and things like that. Um, and so, but okay, I already thought of a, a counterpoint. <laughs> uh, there is a huge push for for technology to to adapt to to these things. I mean, uh, Tesla is and other electric cars are becoming more and more popular, even with the big automotive companies. Uh, there's even a way to, uh, recently like Harvard scientists found a way to collect carbon dioxide from the air and turn it back into uh, gasoline, hmm. which would be, you know, not, not every, the environmentalists won't be totally happy with that because uh, you're still going to be putting it back into the air. It's a, it's a net neutral uh, uh, situation, but at least it's economical. At least it's that. Mm. Um, so, and one more thing about that is that w whenever I talk to my dad about this, he he always says that he's not worried about it. And he, I don't know, he li used to live in San Diego in, in L.A. area. And he said, like, in the 70s, the smog in, in L.A. was awful. But then mm -hmm. people said, okay, well, let's, let's try to get rid of this and they actually put the effort in and they actually got it done and so he always uses that as an example of like if 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 we reach the limit and people are already at this limit we're gonna we're gonna get it done we're gonna fix it the problem yeah mm -hmm. whether or not you, you know, believe if, if it's a problem to begin with but i think it's real and i think it is uh it is uh caused by humans but to the degree of which obviously is, is the other question Mm -hmm. So there's the, so you're raising the issue of like self-interest on this global kind of scale where if you've got this global issue yeah. of like global warming, yeah. does it make sense for countries, some countries to hope the others mm -hmm. put forth more of the effort to fix this problem yeah. uh, if and when there actually is a global kind of problem? Um, it's reminding of me reminding me of these prisoners dilemmas i don't know if mm, you've heard yeah yeah, yeah. That like game case. theory like right should i hope that the other guy bears the brunt of the the punishment so i can get away with doing less yeah um is that the kind of situation kind of analogous but on a global scale that's going on some countries that's totally, hoping the other countries that's totally what's happening yeah yeah or the free rider problem maybe mm -hmm. if you've heard of that um like why should i uh if if taxes are voluntary as they would be under a, a purely capitalist system like i was saying before I, I think you should be able to keep the results of your own labor you shouldn't be forced to give them away through taxes yeah. to force to support any of these government programs and then people will say well then who's gonna uh give any money we're just gonna be without a police force and without any the roads the roads <laughs> the private roads could never be such a thing um, so I guess if, if that's kind of this, the situation you're raising, mm -hmm. then 
I think there are there are counterexamples to show that people actually will contribute to an effort um, which they themselves could not um, achieve. Like uh, any volunteer army, mm. so the the American Revolution was uh, fought by a voluntary army. If if I have my historical facts correct, yeah. it, it wasn't it conscription. Yeah, um, but they recognized the value of the, their freedom. Give me liberty or give me death. Mm-hmm. Um, and to take less dramatic examples, um, I mean, anyone who donates money to a charity, who wants to support some cause, um, they know that they can't, I don't know, like the Red Cross, if that's a good example, but they have these say they they go to uh you know wherever the american soldiers are if it's the american red cross and they give them blood transfusions and they have this massive operation well no one person is going to support all of that yet people (laughs) do voluntarily choose to donate a few dollars or depending on how wealthy they are if they're more wealthy they'll maybe they'll get more but just empirically i think there's evidence that people will donate to some cause which they individually um, could not support entirely on their own. So I don't know that there actually would be a, a, um, a free rider problem, um, if that's the right term for it, like where you would not get some service at all because no one yeah. is willing to um, um, chip in. People actually do, and they do so in a self-interest they feel good about it mm-hmm. I think often is the, they, they like doing it they feel like they're part of helping some good cause so there's a self-interested motivation um, money is not the only consideration they're giving up some money but spiritually they might feel good about con- contributing to this cause um, and maybe something like that could could happen on this global scale to deal with something like global warming um, assuming that was this catastrophic problem that nations had to deal with, um, it can't go on forever with no one addressing the problem yeah. if if everyone wants to survive. So someone is going to have to um, take action. Someone's going to have to do that or the whole ship is going to go down.